This video is designed to give you an overview of the ski sheet and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross-infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is quite often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is accepted that there may be other more appropriate alternatives on some occasions and within slightly different environments to those portrayed. As detailed on the label, the ski sheet has been safety tested to a maximum weight of 250 kilograms, although the maximum load to be pulled downstairs should be advised by your manual handling advisors. It is advised that a minimum of two people handle the ski sheet. As a general rule, the maximum weight being pulled should not be more than that of the combined handlers. Each user will have their own handling plan and this should be considered before transferring any user using this equipment. The preparation for evacuation using the ski sheet starts before the user occupies the bed. Once fitted to the bed, the sheet stays in place ready for immediate use in the event of an emergency. To fit, lay the ski sheet on the base of the bed with the white label facing up. Concertina the belts and store in the easily accessible pockets of the ski sheet. Attach the ski sheet to the mattress using the elastic corner loops. Adjust for a snug fit and tuck in the end pulling handles. The bed is then made up in the normal way with the ski sheet unobtrusively but securely fixed to the underside of the mattress. If time allows, always work with the bed at a comfortable height. To prepare the user for evacuation, remove their pillows and place to one side ready for later use. Wrap them in their bedding. This will help ensure they are kept warm during the evacuation process. Place the spare pillows across the chest, legs and one under the head if enough are available. Working in pairs, remove the cross straps from the corner pockets and fasten over the user. The straps should be comfortable for the patient but tight enough to form a U-shape with the mattress. This will cocoon the user, reduce the area of friction when pulling and prevent the user sliding. Remove the pulling handles from the head and foot end of the bed and set it to its lowest position. Various methods of taking the user off the bed can be used. Please consult your moving and handling department to ascertain the correct method of transfer for your own specific environment. Remove the foot plate and position the bed so that the foot end is facing the exit route. If possible, lower and tilt the bed. With one handler at each end, the user is then pulled off the foot end of the bed. Ready? Ensure to protect their head throughout the procedure. Lower the bed to its lowest position. With a person at each end of the ski sheet, take hold of the end straps and move the user into a position where they are lying at approximately 90 degrees across the bed, ready to be taken off. The person at the head end keeps the straps short and starts to move backwards allowing the ski sheet to touch the floor. The foot end operator allows the straps to move through their hands, controlling the descent of the ski sheet onto the floor. If doors are to be negotiated, it should be pulled from the head end to avoid doors closing on the user's head. However, it is vital that they approach the stairs feet first ahead of the descent. With one person at each end of the ski sheet, the user can be securely moved down the stairs.
The operator at the head end should keep the pulling strap long and assist by slightly raising the handle as the body moves over the top step. It is very important that the person at the foot end keeps the pulling strap short until the upper part of the body has come over the top step. This helps to prevent excessive bending of the user's hip and pelvic area. Communication is fundamental to ensure the head end operator does not overbalance in an attempt to keep up. When reaching the half landing, it is important to steer a wide course so you do not encounter problems with the central pillar of the staircase. If needed, the crush straps can be used to position the ski sheet. The foot end operator controls the speed of descent. Once the patient has exited the building and reached a point of safety, the crush straps can be loosened to ensure the user is comfortable. It is advised that ski sheets are changed with every change of bed occupant. When laundering does become necessary, the buckles on the belt should be fastened and a temperature of up to 80 degrees centigrade can be used. To protect the buckles, it's recommended that the sheet should be washed in a netted wash bag. Thorough rinsing will ensure that no detergent deposit is left. A disinfectant may be added to the final rinse if required. When drying, a low temperature is recommended. The ski sheet can also be cleaned using antibacterial wipes. If you have any questions or would like to request more information on the ski sheet, please contact Hospital Aids.